there, it's me, Grammy Vulture. You can call me Leah. Today, I'm going to try to make an off-the-shoulder, flowy top. I have this beautiful princess fabric. It is a sheet. I wouldn't be too upset if it got ruined making a beautiful flowy shirt. I must be recording. Look at, oh, we got both the guys here. What? It's gonna be called my princess shirt because I'm using my princess fabric. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get started. If I want it right about here, I would need one inch. Get one and a half so that we can make that the casing. So we'll take that. If it's one and a half and one and a half where I want it. So I folded that under and I like my shirts to hit about here. Let's do another inch and a half seam allowance. I can always hem it up, but I can't add material. Well, I could, but it would have to be different. So I came to 24 inches. I'm going to take 24 inches off. Ready to cut? I'm just gonna cut towards that 26. Go on the fabric. Going a little bit further, measuring it out, chasing that number. Remember the top two inches are going to be cut off as well, so I'll be back when I'm done with that. This is the tube toppy part. Done. Well, not quite done. Then we need the ruffle that goes over that. So we need to figure out how big of a ruffle we want. And about the position where it should sit, I say should, this is experimental at all. Maybe eight inch sleeves? Well, with seam allowance, 10 inch. Take both of your rectangles, sew them closed with the wrong sides together, of course, so that you're making tubes. Essie sewer like me, you might want to trim off all this excess to hem the bottom. On the large tube, find the center point, my center front top, and nick it with a notch. Then we will bring that together against, let's see, have both front and back. And then we will find the sides by holding front and back together, top up. So this is going to be our arms, where our arms are going to the shirt. And we need not the whole top, because remember, it's going to be off the shoulder. But we need something so that we can sneak our arm in there. Let's see. Let's say six inches. Don't forget our seam allowance at the top. So six inches under that brings us to here. What did I say? It was 11 inches around my arm. Five inches here. And then I'm going to curve them together as if it was a sleeve. Remember that because I probably won't remember. Everything on the bottom and under the arms needs to be hemmed. I went ahead and hemmed this spot. If you look at it, it only gives this much to be ruffly. And since you really want a nice ruffle, I'm gonna cut 10 more inches and hem that up as well. This piece will be like front and the other piece will be back. I don't know, I, I, I'm so confused, but I need more ruffly. Fold your ruffle. Ruffle. Fold your ruffle in half, long ways to find the center. Here's front center. Alright, I have pinned my ruffle on and I'm going to sew down just a quarter inch to sew it to the shirt and then make my casing by folding that again an inch and a quarter so that I can put my elastic in. Don't forget, you gotta leave a space. Although I am no fan of ironing, I have fashioned this paint stick into a wooden press plate. I can fold this and press this seam in place. It's 
so that when I sew, I'm not afraid I'm going to mess it up because I can't sew a straight line. All right, I'm measuring elastic that feels comfy right around this area. I'm going to pin this to the inside of the shirt so that I don't lose it. I'm going to take this safety pin and thread it through the casing I made. This may take a while. This is a lot of fabric. So I got the ruffly on. Here we go. <laughs> Definitely the undershirt is a must, but I really like it. It's so floofy. That 12 feet of fluff really looks nice, right? Very generous with the armholes. As far as it sitting where I wanted it to sit, yeah, did pretty good on that. I haven't perfected it yet, but it was fun and easy. It's so roomy. I really like it as an overshirt. Definitely would look cute with the bathing suit underneath. I am not an expert and I still, I still have not figured out how to sew a straight line. <laughs> I am happy with the eight inch ruffle though. This is what I was going for. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my princess shirt. It's definitely outerwear. Gotta have something under it. Anyway, gotta go. See you later. Love you. Bye.